Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting with the fifth topic of algebra that is linear equation. Till now we have covered arithmetic progression, geometric progression, harmonic progression and the sum of the series, right? If you have not seen those videos, go back, check those four videos first and then this is the fifth video for the algebra part, right? Now, starting with what exactly is linear equation? Okay. Linear equation. See, I, for the exam, sake of simplicity and for the exam, I will just give you an example and by the example you will understand what are linear equation is and what are the other equations, right? Suppose this is an equation given to you. X plus 2 is 8. I am pretty sure you must have done or solved a lot of questions where they say find X, right? Now, in such a, if this is an equation, means you are equating something to something and then you will be able to find the value of x, right? This is an equation. Whenever the power of x is 1 or the power of variables is 1, that is a linear equation. But if the power of variable is suppose like this, uh, maximum power, suppose it, the equation looks like this, is 6. The maximum power is now 2 and not 1. This will be not be a linear equation, but a quadratic equation, right? And suppose there is another example, x cube plus 4x plus 9 is equal to 0. Is it a linear equation? No, because the maximum power is now more than 1, right? More than 1, so that is 3. So, it is not a linear equation, it is a cubic equation. So, the linear equation is where the power of variable, maximum power of variable is 1. And that is all you have to know, right? The, pa the power or in, in a linear equation, the power, maximum power of the variable is 1, right? Now, what exactly is variable? Again, for the simplicity, in an equation, whatever x, y, z, a, b, c you find, those all are variables. And if it is a linear equation, the maximum power of these variables could be 1 and not more than that. That will make it a linear equation. Suppose if I ask you x plus y plus 6 is equal to a, is this a linear equation? Yes, because the maximum power of any variable is 1. But someone asks you x is equal to a cube plus b square plus 6, is it a linear equation? No. Why? Because the maximum power of a variable is not 1 but 3. Right? So, now I hope this is clear what a linear equation is and what a variable is. Now, moving on. We will we'll try to solve an equation with a single variable. Right? If I go back, single variable means if you see here, only in the equation, only one variable is there that is x. Right? So, this is a single variable equation. But in this equation, there is one variable, two variable, and three variables. So, it is a multi, multi variable equation. I hope this is clear. Now, coming back, this is a single variable question given to you, and you can expect such a question in the exam. You have to solve it, right? Now, suppose this, this says when you divide the age by 4, means the age means there is a dog whose age is something. You divide that age by 4. And then add to add six to it, you will get the dog's age as an answer. What is his? What is the dog age? Right. In such a question, I will start it like this: Let dog age be whatever variable you want to see. I will say the let the dog age be x. Right. X is a dog age. Now. When you divide the age, means when you divide x by 4, means x by 4, and add 6 to it, 6, you will get the dog's age, means dog's x as an answer. I hope this is clear. So, if you divide x by 4 and add 6, you will get the dog's age as an answer. Now, if I solve this, how will you solve this? In, if you, if, in solving this, you will take all the axes or variables on one side and uh, all the non-variable on one side. What are the variables? x by 4 and x. 
so i will take x and when i take x by 4 on the right side it becomes minus x by 4 is equal to 6 i hope this is clear x minus x by 4 is 6 so this will be 3x by 4 is equal to 6 right if i do that simple mathematics here 2 x is 8 means the dog's age age is 8 years dog's age is 8 years so you can also check if i take dog's age divided by 4 and then add 6 you will get the dog's age answer answer yes it is happening so this is how you calculate a single variable equation i hope this is clear now moving on this is another equation here let's say let's see let the age of father and son be 44 and 8 years right means father age is given to you that is 44 and son age is 8 again i am still pausing this video you can try to solve this question on your own come back and see the solution if you have understood the concept right now the age of father is 44 and 8 in how many years the father will be four times the son age right now you have to first try to solve, form the question into an equation and then solve the solve the equation right now this is currently the father's and son age now some years have passed and father's age has become something and son's age has become something now but the father age has now been four times the son's age right now how to solve this question suppose this is the father age is 44 son's age is 8 i say let x years passed means now when the father age and son age was calculated then x years have passed say like 10 years has now passed right instead of 10 i say x years have passed suppose the father age was 44 at that time now it is 44 plus x and son's age is 8 plus x i hope this is clear after x years have passed father age is now 44 plus x son's age is 8 plus x now the question given is at this point of time father's age this is 44 plus x is 4 times son's age i hope this is clear father's age is 4 times son's age right now how to how to solve this equation 44 plus x is equal to 8 for the 32 plus 4x i hope this is clear now take all the variables on one side 4x minus x is 44 minus 32 3x is how much 3x is 12 right 3x is 12 x is 4 i hope this is clear now what does this x says x says when the last age was calculated four years have passed right so let's see 44 and 8 age was 8 now four years have passed now the father is now 48 and son is now 12 is it not 12 into 4 48 the father age is now four times that of son yes so how many years have passed four years have passed i hope this is clear here there are not going to be a lot of formula, formulas you just have to understand what the equation is and how to solve the equations right or a question will be given to you form an equation out of it and then solve the equation these are the three steps now till now we have only seen one variable that was x now we will see two variables they say sum of two numbers is 12 and the difference is 4 find those two numbers right now i say let those two numbers be whatever you want to say i say x and y these are the two numbers which i want to find not given i want to find two numbers sum of those two numbers is 12 difference of those two numbers is 4 is it clear sum of those two numbers is 12 difference is 4 now how to solve multi variable equation i will show here we find x y is 12 x minus y is 4 right now in such a case how to solve 
टू वेरिएबल इक्वेशन वेरी सिंपल यू टेक इन दीज टू इक्वेशन राइट वट एव वट यू कैन डू कैन यू नॉट इफ वाई एंड माइनस वाई इज देयर यू कैन कैंसल दैम आउट मीन्स यू टू यू एड टू इक्वेशन वेन यू एड वाई माइनस वाई जीरो एक्स प्लस एक्स इज टू एक्स एंड ट्वेल्व प्लस फोर इज सिक्सटीन आई हैव जस्ट एडिड टू इक्वेशन एक्स प्लस वाई ट्वेल्व एक्स माइनस वाई इज फोर देन आई विल गेट टू एक्स इज प्लस वाई माइनस वाई जीरो इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन यू विल गेट एक्स एज एट राइट एंड यू विल एबल टू फाइंड एक्स एज एट राइट सो पिक एनी इक्वेशन यू हैव बिफोर एक्स प्लस वाई इज ट्वेल्व यू विल गेट वाई एज फोर means you put in x as 8 you will get y as 4 i hope this is clear or another way you can do it x plus y is 12 x minus y is 4 if this is given to you rather than adding two equations now do subtraction when i do subtraction the sign of the second equation changes plus minus minus you understand the sign of the second equation changes when you are minus subtracting second equation from the first equation now x minus x is zero, y plus y is now two y. Twelve minus four is eight. Y is now four. If y is four, you can use any equation you want. I will use this one because I like, right? X minus four is four. X is eight. This is a very basic mathematics solving two variable equations, right? Now moving on. Find these three numbers in pairs. Their sum is seven. Seventeen and twenty, right? Suppose three numbers. I will just uh, do it quickly. A, B, C are given to you, or we have taken three numbers as A and B and C. If you take any pair, suppose I take A plus B, the sum is seven. When I take B plus C, the sum is seventeen. Then I take A C plus A, C plus A, that is twenty, right? I hope this is clear. I know a plus b seven, b plus c seventeen, c plus a is twenty. How to solve this such a equation with three variables, right? Uh, the easy way from here is you add all the equations. Or adding all the equation means a plus b plus b plus c plus c plus a will be on this side, and seven plus seventeen plus twenty on this side. I hope this is clear. What we are seeing doing here, we have just added. Left part and added right part. So this will become two times a plus b plus c is equal to seven. This this will be twenty four and forty four. I hope this is forty four only. You can verify seventeen plus seven is twenty four plus twenty forty four. And from here you will get a plus b plus c is twenty two. This is the one equation. This is second equation. I will write one e first equation. This is the second equation. This third equation, we this is the fourth equation, right? Now, I I know that a plus b plus c is twenty two, and I also know that a plus b is seven. Is it not the case? From equation one and equation two, now if I want, I can do subtraction. Second equation from first equation. When I do subtraction, the sign changes minus minus and minus. I hope this is clear. So do the subtraction. Means zero plus zero plus c minus nothing is c, and twenty two minus seven is fifteen. So we are getting c as fifteen. I hope this is clear. How do, uh, how we are able to find it? Now similarly, I can do it for other variables as well. A plus b plus c is twenty two. We know b plus c from the equation number three is. Seventeen. Again, I will subtract minus 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 a plus zero plus zero is equal to five. Right. So a plus zero plus zero is five. So I will have a as five. I hope this is clear. We are able to find a and c till now. Now, what about b? We know a plus b plus c is twenty two. A is five. B is fifteen. C we don't know is equal to twenty two. Twenty plus C is twenty two. Uh, sorry, this we are able to. Uh, I will just rewrite it. A is five. 
B we don't know. C is 15. This is 22. B plus 20 is 22. B is 22 minus 20. That is B is equal to 2. Answer an answer. So B is equal to 2. So these are the three numbers we are looking for. I hope this is clear. How to solve three variable equation? Right. Now moving on. Again, you can pause the video. Now the solving equation concept is clear. You can try this question uh, before uh, rewatching it and find uh, looking at the solution. Right. Sum of two odd numbers is fourteen. Again, I will put it star here. Why? Because this question is very similar to a previous year question, which we are going to do in the next video. So, just uh, so be very attentive here. What we are doing here? Find all possible combination where sum of two odd numbers is fourteen. How we are going to do? Let two odd odd numbers be suppose x and y. Sum is x plus y is fourteen, right? X plus y is 14. Now, x can take some some value, y can take some value and the sum has to be 14. So, and these are the odd numbers. So, uh, whatever the values we can take, can we take 14, 0, we can take 13 and 1, we can take 12 and 2, we can take uh, 11 and 3, we can take what? Uh, 10 and 4 and so on. Now, if you see here, the thing, the answers of our interest is only when these are the odd numbers, 13 and 1, 11 and 3, then there will be 9 and 5 and so on. So, the values of x and y is 13, 1, 11, 3, 9, 5, 7 and 7. 5 9, then 3 11, then 1 13. These are the only combinations where the sum of two odd numbers or two odd natural numbers is 14. And how many answers possible combinations are there? Total of 7. So, 7 is our answer. I hope this is clear. Just to do a quick recap of what we have learned, we first we started with finding, trying to solve a single variable equation. Then we solved uh, this question again on the basis of single variables uh, equation. Then we moved to two variable co question and saw how we saw, how we can solve two variable question. And in my view, first variable and second variable or means two variable question are most likely in the exam. Three variable question are less likely, but still we have learned that uh, how to solve a three variable question. And that's this is how this was our method. And we were able to solve a three variable question. Now, this is a very important question. And why? Because in the next video, we will see a previous year question is very similar to this. Right? Uh, we have to find all the possible combination when the sum of two odd numbers is 14. And that's all for that's all for this video. In the next video, we are going to solve previous year questions on this linear equation thing. And once we are done, we will be completing linear equation part as well. I hope the things are clear. If you are if you are not able to, uh, if you have any doubt, you can post post in them in the comments, or and also download this uh, PDF uh, from the Telegram channel. Solve the questions before you see the solution. That's all, and best of luck, guys.